Let's start by adding a couple of inject nodes onto the flow. Let's start by adding a couple of inject nodes onto the flow editor. And then we'll also go ahead and add in the Raspberry Pi GPIO out node. We'll double click this so we can get to the settings. And we'll set pin 40 GPIO 21 as our output. We can wire these up. And then, oops, then for this first node, we can get rid of this. We'll change the payload to Boolean, and that can stay true. And we'll do the same thing with this one, except we'll set the Boolean value to false. And then click Done. Now we'll go ahead and click on Deploy. Now let's switch over to our view of the Raspberry Pi and the LED. So now when we click on false, we can see the LED turns off. And when we click on true, the LED turns on. So now that we have this fundamental set up, now that we have the fundamental settings set up, Let's go ahead and add a few dashboard items and control this LED with the dashboard. So we'll add a few dashboard buttons. And we'll wire these the exact same. We'll double click each button. And the payload will change to a Boolean true for this button. And we'll change the name to on. Then we'll double click this button. We'll change to Boolean false. We'll change the name to off. And I forgot to set up the dashboard, so let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll flip over to the dashboard. We'll simply add a tab, and then we'll add a group. Now when we double click these buttons again, we can see we can now assign them to tab one, or group one. We'll do the same with this. Click on done and deploy. So now we can click this little icon, which will bring us up to the dashboard. So now when we click off on the dashboard, you can see the LED turns off and now the LED turns on. Let's flip back to the flow editor and we're going to play around just a little bit with a switch. So we'll drag a switch in here and we'll connect the switch up to our Raspberry Pi node. We'll double click the switch Change that to tab one, group one, and click on done, and deploy. So now when we go back to our dashboard, we now we see the switch, and again, we can turn the LED off and on by using the switch. We'll go back to the node editor. I'd like to show you something really neat that Node Red can do. So I'm going to delete these wires here and instead wire the on and the off buttons to the switch. And then from the switch, we'll go to the Raspberry Pi node. I'll click on Deploy, go back to the dashboard, and now when I click on and then off, you'll see the LED shuts off as well as the switch moves as well. These buttons can make the switch change state as well as the LED.
Let's change this. Let's change the graph. Let's change the GUI just a little bit on the dashboard. We'll go back to the flow editor. And then on the tab over here, we'll click on layout. We'll click these lock buttons to unlock them. And then we'll make each one of these items one by one. And then drag these up. Now we'll change the width down to three. And click done and deploy. Now when we go back to the dashboard, you'll see that these buttons are now smaller and right next to each other. You can click off and on. You can see that the switch moves and the light turns on and off as you'd expect. That wraps it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.